As part of Council's digital strategy, uh, free Wi-Fi trials within our local government area uh, are part of that strategy. So what we're seeing is a 12-month trial in the CBD for free Wi-Fi, which will be excellent for locals and for visitors. It's going to be paid for by the property owners within the CBD via the CBD Master Plan Subcommittee. Uh, and it should be a, a, a good gauge of what we're trying to do into the future with providing uh, better access to, to information for our local community. The trial should start sometime around February and run for about 12 months. 2016 Tastings on Hastings event attracted 20,000 visitors, which is an enormous uh, injection for our local economy. Uh, Council have committed to three years for Tastings on Hastings, and we're in our third and final year of that commitment. We're putting out an expression of interest for an event coordinator to see how we might be able to make it bigger and better for 2017. Last night, Council awarded the tender for the management of the Port Macquarie Indoor Stadium to the existing operators of the facility. A fantastic result for them and great result for the community with an expanded facility which will bring more tourism opportunities but also a great facility for local sporting users. Uh, Council Laws took a tour of it recently and it's uh, absolutely fantastic with all the extra courts and all the extra um, amenities that are provided and looking forward to it opening early in the new year at this point in time, looking around February. Last night, Council uh, awarded funding out of the Mayor's Sporting Fund to a couple of really talented local people. So Matthew Catania is heading off to the Australian All Schools Championships uh, and we wish him the best. And Brianna McGrady is actually representing Australia at the World Water Ski Championships in Chile. So uh, good luck to both of them and fantastic to see some local talent doing really, really well internationally.